Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third annual Birth Photography of the Year Awards 2022. We're so excited to be here, and we're so happy to have you here. I want to begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land, the Wurundjeri people on which we meet today here in Melbourne and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. Uh, I also want you to take a second wherever you are in the world and acknowledge your traditional owners of your own land. And if you don't know who they are, go and do a quick Google search. Um, there's no audio. Can you let me know if you guys can hear me in the chat? Okay. Charlie, you might need to log out and log back in. Sometimes it acts a bit funny and it helps when you log back in. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, go and do a quick Google search and, um, and see who your traditional custodians are of the land, um, it is so inf insightful to, to see who they are and learn about them. So it is with great honor and excitement that we present to you our 2022 Birth Photographer and Birth Videographer of the Year. Before we do that, let's take a moment to honor our sponsors, our back of house team, and our awards committee that make this ceremony possible each and every year. Uh, firstly, I want to thank Paul Atkins from Atkins Pro Lab for accepting my random phone call one day, three years ago. I still to this day have no idea why you felt safe enough to give me your phone number. <laughs> oh goodness. What started out as a random text message quickly turned into, hey, I have this idea, can I call you? And this landed as you being our sponsor and making this entire process possible. And so I think I speak on behalf of all of our entrants and our awards committee. Thank you. Uh, Paul and Kate Atkins have been an incredibly supportive uh, of the birth community throughout the years. Um, ever since I dumped my, my newborn baby off on Kate, <laughs> the AIPP Awards, um, and that was nearly seven years ago. And over that seven years, this working relationship has flourished into something absolutely incredible that I never could have imagined. Um, Kate tried to find me at that awards uh, at AIPP, and she couldn't because she wanted to give me back my baby, but I was gone. <laughs> That was the most blissful few hours of my life um, from designing products that I had in my head from conception to print the Lacey package. Atkins has been an integral part of my life, my business's life and my clients lives. So on behalf of the community, Paul and Kate, we thank you deeply for your support. Thank you. Our judges every single year. Um, they mark off three hours a day for two days to judge. And then the closer we get to awards, they quickly reaccommodate their entire lives to ensure that they are free for the entire judging process. Uh, and this makes it possible to stream 24 seven. They sit in a group channel eager to jump back in at any given moment, allowing others to take breaks, handle emergencies, on-call life. And our judges are simply here for pure passion. So your judges are committed to your growth, your education, and are here for community. And they love this as much as I do. So if you see a judge, thank them. Our panel mods, Without our panel mods, we would not have a 24 hour stream. Live judging would only be on Australian time when I'm awake and everyone else is asleep. <laughs> if you see a panel mod, they're also likely a judge. So please thank them for making this stream possible for 24 hours a day. 
for what seems like seven days a week, but it's only two or three days. <laughs> they keep an eye on the stream. They ring me when things aren't working. Uh, they keep the stream flowing. They're moderating chat comments. They're moderating judges coming and going on and off the panel. They're hosting the live stream and moderating judges conversation all in real time. Thank you, panel mods. And we also want to thank the entrants. Without you, there would be no awards. So thank you for being vulnerable, taking risks, and sharing your art with us. And whilst we thank our entrants, we also want to introduce you to the top 20 highest scoring portfolios. In no particular order, our image top 20 portfolios is Martha Kong in Queensland, Australia from Martha Grace Birth Photography, Zoe Wheatley in Western Australia from Zoe Wheatley Birth and Lifestyle, Sarah Lentz in New South Wales, Australia from Sarah Kate Photography, Samantha Renee in Ohio, USA from Samantha Renee Birth Photography, Amber Grant in Western Australia from Amber May Birth Photography, Jessica in May in the Netherlands from V Photography, Ebony Allen Ankins in Queensland, Australia from Ebony Allen Ankins Photography. Apologies, Sarah. You, Sarah Lentz is actually in Western Australia, uh, not New South Wales. Uh, Laura Brink in Queensland, Australia from Rewild Her Birth. Rihanna Cross in Queensland, Australia from Birth Spoke Photography. Kayla Gray in Texas, USA from Kayla Gray Photography. Jelena Sonnenberg in Illinois from Jelena Sonnenberg Birth Services. Kate Randall in New South Wales, Australia from Kate Randall Photography. Charlie Hallman in South Australia from Little Rose Birth Photography. Paulina Spletka in Florida, USA from Paulina Spletka Birth Photography. Jacinta Lagos in Wisconsin from Jacinta Lagos Birth Services. Sarah Hunter in Florida, USA from Sarah Hunter Photos. Alexa Peterson in New Zealand from Alexa Dula. Alicia Mason in New South Wales, Australia from Alicia Mason Photography. Barbara Steinen in the Netherlands from On Being Born. Carmen Bridgewater in the Midwest USA from Carmen Bridgewater. Dania Lauren in Queensland from Lauren and Douglas. We want to take a second to congratulate all of our entrants, as well as our top 20 highest scoring image portfolios. You guys have presented an absolutely incredible portfolio of five images. Um, and we are so proud to and honored to have been able to see um, your images. Congratulations. Yes. Now let's go through our top tongue twister, <laughs> our top 20 highest scoring videography portfolios. Jesse Snap in Indiana, USA from Jesse Ann Photo and Film. Albany Alvarez in Mexico from Albany Al Alvarez Birth. Lauren Rose in Texas from Lauren Rose Photography and Film. Danielle Soferek. Um, Danielle, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure where you are in the world. Uh, maybe when we finish up, you can tell us. Um, Angie Klaus in Virginia from Angie Klaus Photos and Film. Jacinta Lagos in Wisconsin from Jacinta Lagos Birth Services. Rihanna Carlos in Queensland from Birth Spoke. Dania Lauren in Queensland from Lauren and Douglas. Aaron Beth in Texas, USA from Aaron Beth Birth. 
Alicia Mason in New South Wales from Alicia Mason Photography. Lindsay Eden in Colorado from Lindsay Eden Birth Photography. Amber Grant in Western Australia from Amber May Photography. Heidi Daniels in Washington, D.C. from D.C. Birth Photographer. Evelyn Valley in Texas, USA from Written in Wonder. Laura Brink in Queensland from Rewild Her Birth. Nina Kohler in Indiana from Blue Egg Birth Stories. Kayla Gray in Texas from Kayla Gray. Carmen Bridgewater in Midwest USA from Carmen Bridgewater. And Natalie Broders in Oregon from Natalie Broders Photography. Now, congratulations to our top 20 highest scoring portfolios from video as well as photography. What an incredible job well done. We thank you so much for your vulnerability for entering into the awards and for sharing your art with us. So a massive congratulations. Now I'd love to go back to Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, Lacey. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to, to be a part of it. We've got a lot of people watching. How many people have we got on? Sorry, that was me. Um, so we have about 20 of us on right now. Oh, how cool. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for these awards. It's really unusual not to be having a dinner with a bow tie and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I know you're off to, <laughs> to do mum stuff. And um, I'm here at work. And, yeah, well, I got a lot to do today, too. So it's kind of cool that you managed to slot this in for everybody and those in the U.S., Europe can enjoy it as well. Congratulations. Yes, thank you, Paul. Um, <clears throat> Paul, I'd love to chat about your business for just a second. So we understand that Atkins is a family-run business, and I'd love for you to be able to tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, sure, totally. So um, it's it's family all the way down. My, my two teenage daughters are 19 and 18, Elizabeth and Josephine, they, they do a bit of cleaning on the weekends, which is, you know, nice. But we also live above the building here in, in Kent Town in the apartment. And um, my wife, Kate, who you've already mentioned on the, uh, on the stream, has been working with me in the business, well, for over, over 20 years. We've been married for 22. And she's, you know, family business is a tough thing. So she's had some on and off working for us in the early days. But she's full on. And frankly, she's... Uh, much, much more capable than I'll ever be at change and innovation and making the business work. But it, um, she and I run it. It was my parents' business and my grandparents' business before that. So we started in the 30s. Um, so we've all been suffering under the family business, you know, regime. It's not an easy thing to run. But Kate and I are, you know, just loving it. And I think, you know, it's, it's, I don't want, don't want this to sound corny or anything, but if my grandmother hadn't pushed my grandfather, we wouldn't be doing colour in the 60s. And if my mother mm -hmm. hadn't pushed my father, we'd still be an unprofessional rabble, you know, in the 80s. So, and Kate's really flipped our business upside down. So for us, the guys just plot around and get stuff done and the women change everything. So that's a family business for us. And Lacey, you've had a big part in it too, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I've, I was interested in contemporary art. I wasn't particularly interested in awards and award work, but, you know, I always supported the what was the Australian Institute of Professional Photography. And um, I certainly wasn't sure that birth photography was a thing or would ever be a thing beyond just a strange sideline that people did. And, you know, you really opened my eyes to it. And the product mm. we put together together... The product we put together together, yeah, that's a word, a sentence. Um, the Lacey package was about recognizing the documentary nature of birth, that it's a timeline. You know, at one hour, something happens and something happens the next hour. And so that's where it all came from. And, you know, together we put that pretty cool little idea together. And I want, um, I want to thank you for that because it's our clients 
that's always dragged us along and, and made sure we made things that were relevant. So, so thanks. And thanks for everyone listening and putting up with this little infomercial as part of the awards. <laughs> no, we, we love it. We love it so much. And, and that's one of the things that I love about Atkins Lab is that it is family run. And as birth photographers, we understand the family aspect and you understand the family aspect. And so it's so amazing to be able to have a sponsor that is in that realm of, of familiness. Is that a word? <laughs> That'll do. I'll take it. Um, and I also want to take a second and honor your uh, dad, John Atkins. Um, Thank you. For the incredible revolutionary work that he has done over his lifetime. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we lost him in July and um, uh, of leukemia. He's living in Cairns. And uh, oh, look, it's, I mean, it was a difficult thing, the transition between me owning the business and living in the apartment and them saying goodbye. Like, I want to be completely open and honest that it, family businesses are very difficult things and you have to be very careful how you run and structure them. And it was difficult, but I love him dearly and I missed every minute mm -hmm. of not having him around. And it's just a funny thing. You know, the family business, you separate the work with the love. Um, and it's yeah. really complicated because money gets in there and too, and money's an mm -hmm. ugly thing. You know, I think a lot of your members would understand that. You'd all work mm -hmm. for nothing probably because you'd love what you do and we're, we're no different here. But thank you for honouring. But look, I, on a light note, I just wanted to mention one more person. Yes. This is the, this is the managing director. Can everyone see that? <laughs> He's like in charge. This is the boss of the entire company. His name is Frankie. And he does feature in our social media a lot. And he's the one who will woof at you from our car park if you st spend too much time and look up. So he's the one that really drives us all and makes sure that we keep it in business so we can feed him. So that's the one I really wanted to point to. <laughs> I remember when you guys got Frankie. Um, Frankie was Frankie definitely runs the show. So <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. He does. Thanks, Lacey. Uh, thank you so much, Paul. Um, Laura Brink says the Lacey package from Atkins is honestly so amazing. Thank you, Laura. Thank it's, you. It's a favorite for sure. Um, so one final question for you, Paul. Do you ship internationally? Yeah, we do. Um, it's, it's, it's not a huge part of our business, but we are sending... Uh, all around the world. I think there's probably somewhere around the, the area of 15 or 20 countries that we, we'd be shipping to every, you know, maybe not every week we'd be going to that many countries, but certainly every month we'd be out there. It's, and it's becoming a bigger part of our business. It's great. Look, shipping is, international shipping is difficult. Um, we've looked into getting other labs to represent us in other countries. We just, we can't make that work. So we would love to do your work. Um, we would love to see anyone in the world approach us for the work. If you're a professional photographer, you just need to register, apply for a pro, and then just go through the process of what it involves with international shipping, work out the timing and the cost and that. But it's not unreasonable. As I said, it's, a, it's becoming a growing part of our business. People are making it work. And um, we're super proud to be doing that. It's just like, why would they be thinking a little old us here in South Australia, like, you know, you're up in the big smoke there, Lacey. Melbourne, Adelaide's this little backwater town, and suddenly we've got, you know, fans and friends all around the world. So, yeah, we do. Thank you. Perfect. Um, if you are not in Australia, if you're not, you can still register to become a pro at atkinslab.com.au. Uh, we find the best way to navigate international shipping is to do a bulk order. Um, and so that really helps cut down on some of that, that shipping costs. Um, thank you so much, Paul. So we want to, um, we want to move on to our top five now, our top five finalists for birth photographer of the year, 2022. Um, our first finalist is Kayla Gray.
Kayla, are you available to come and join us and turn your camera on and say a few words? I would love to have a bit of a chat. Hey, can you hear Hi, me? Emma? Hi. How it's, are you? Um, very chaotic over here. So I probably only have a couple minutes at most. That's okay. Um, that's all we have is a couple minutes for each presenter. Okay. So <laughs> that's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, Kayla, congratulations on being in the top five. What a massive, massive achievement. Thank you, Lacey. It's, it's been really exciting. Um, this has been my first year entering Birth Photographer of the Year, and um, I, I feel like I'm walking away with so much more than I expected when I decided to enter my images at the very last minute, like everybody else. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited and, and definitely we'll be back next year. Definitely asking for the feedback too, because they didn't do that this year and I regret it. Some of the judges were like, we want to talk about this image. And it wasn't just your images. It was so many different images. It really um, was. I know. We just love chatting about our work and the art that we see and dissecting you know, the, the, the symbolism behind what it is that we see as well. So thank you so much and uh, yeah, a massive, course. massive congratulations. We can't wait to see what you submit next year. Um, but we also want to see who, which one of our finalists is the winner. So <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, I'm sure whoever it is, is amazing. And um, whatever the results are, I'm going to be like, just really pleased with as far, you know, having gotten this far in general. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, Kayla. Yeah, um, of course. We'll move on to our next finalist. Um, our next finalist is Alicia Mason. Alicia, are you available for a bit of a chat? Congratulations. I'll just wait a moment to see if Alicia accepts my request for camera permissions. And if not, that's okay too. Hi, Alicia. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, look at that beautiful sunlight. <laughs> I'll turn up my volume and I'm sorry, I've got kids running around that are very late for daycare today, so they may come out, but yeah. That's totally okay. We are, like we said, family-run businesses, mums, being, being badass boss bitches all along yeah. the way. So uh, congratulations on being in the top five. Thank you so much. I, I would love to know, how did you get into birth photography? Well, um, I've always admired birth photography. I think like in terms of all photographic genres, it's probably one of the most powerful, raw, um, just intimate moments you could possibly photograph. Uh, you know, no posing, no sort of setups. I just love how every single birth is different and unique and you just witness the most incredible things and you can capture the most powerful um, emotions. Um, so it has always drawn me. Um, and my previous work was, you know, um, a lot of sort of overseas, very, very intrepid places, uh, capturing sort of street photography and portraiture of developing countries in developing countries. So when mm. I um, had my kids and I experienced birth myself, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is the ultimate, ultimate thing to capture. So I put all of my energy into pushing myself into the birth space. And I have only been, yeah, photographing birth for basically like two years now so it hasn't been a long time um but I think when you're really passionate about something and you love something and you go for it 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 comes to you so yeah I've been I've loved every second but I've also been very lucky to have a lot of opportunities so I thank all my clients for giving me those opportunities and for you Lacey and all the other birth photographers um for you know sharing your incredible work and inspiring others to start oh yeah. thank you <laughs> Um, I wholeheartedly believe a thousand percent that when you are extremely passionate about something, 
you are a sponge and soak up everything, I think, 20,000 times faster than what you would Absolutely. if you were forcing yourself to learn those sure. things. Mm. Yeah. So much, <laughs> Alicia. Um, and congratulations <laughs> on being in the top five. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, moving on to our next um, finalist. Our next finalist is Jacinta Lagos. Jacinta, um, are you available for a quick chat? Let me see if Jacinta is here. She is. Hi, Jacinta. Hello. How you are you? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Look at that gorgeous baby. I, I can't see myself. Oh, yeah. She's been throughout the competition there the whole time. So she's you familiar can... with the, yeah. Yeah, she's an <laughs> absolute legend. She'll she'll be a judge next year, I'm sure. She'll be ready. <laughs> Thank you so much for the recognition. I'm so happy and beyond thrilled. Thank uh, you. Thank yeah, no, congratulations on being in the top five. Um, I, I just one question. I'd love to know how do you want your business to evolve over the next 12 to 48 months? Oh, wow. Um, well, I would love to first start, keep spreading the word that bird mm -hmm. photography is a thing. It's not disgusting. Uh, it's a, it's not such thing as a niche, but more, um, an industry. And I want to keep, you know, advocating for our work and at the same time advocating for um, birth in general, which I think it's a huge need worldwide. Um, so, yeah, I think that I keep working and um, not only in my business, but uh, with colleagues and form like a community and work together. For mm -hmm. this purpose, I think that's that's very important. Once you have that goal of working as a community, I think uh, each business is going to go well and grow. Yeah, I agree. I really, I I think that community is the number one backbone of of having um, a successful business because without each other, we can't do it as a team of one. So, right. um, yep. and I and I've seen that with your support with modding and judging. Um, and mm -hmm. so, so grateful and congratulations again, Jacinta. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll move on to our next finalist. <clears throat> our next finalist is uh, Sarah Lenz. Sarah, are you available for a quick chat? I don't know. Do we have Sarah on with us? We do. I'll just see if Sarah accepts or not. She might be busy. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you guys? I am so good. Congratulations on being in the top five and a finalist. Thank you so much. It was um, a very big surprise. <laughs> uh, apologies. For some reason, I thought you were in New South Wales. No, I'm in Western Australia in Perth. Yeah, thanks for that correction. No, that's okay. You've got a, a lot to go through there and a lot to remember. <laughs> and it's very easy, especially with a name like Sarah Cape, because... There are quite a few Sarah Cape photography all over the world. I am the only one registered in Australia, though. But, yeah. um, yes, it is a popular name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah, I just wanted to give you a congratulations. And I wanted to ask, what makes this work so special for you? Birth photography, for me, is a very healing experience. Mm -hmm. um, I started birth photography after my son was born, my second child. Um, he was born spontaneously premature at 33 weeks and we almost lost him. Mm. And I hadn't had a chance to hire a birth photographer because we went early and there was so much going on. 
my camera got left in the car. No one thought to grab a phone even and take a photo. Oh. And so I'm having a cry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't have any of those photos and I didn't get to hold him again for a few weeks. Mm. And then my best friend had her baby um, a little while after me and she asked me to be present at her birth, um, mm. invited me into theatre to capture her maternal assisted caesarean. And for me, it was a really hearing, healing experience and I wanted to be able to give that experience to other parents to be, to have mm. those moments documented. They're so special. They are. So, yeah, that's for me. Yeah, I I totally resonate um, with the feeling of not having those moments and then wanting, oh, thanks, Paul. <laughs> Paul's handing us some tissues. <laughs> Cry, jeez. <laughs> uh, I I totally resonate with that. With our first baby, we actually did not photograph his birth either. And my mom actually asked me if I would photograph it, and I was like, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> and oh, anybody else, just for yourself, it is such a beautiful absolutely. thing to have documented. And half the time, you've got your eyes closed, so you're missing so much of what is going on. Absolutely. And I think just being able to see how your support people are supporting you and mm -hmm. even just that first moment of laying your eyes on your baby. Yeah. It, it's just magical. It you is. Back. Yeah. Thanks so much, Sarah. Um, congratulations. And thank you for sharing you. that. Um, congratulations on being in the top five. Um, okay. We'll move on to our next finalist. <laughs> thank you. All right, congratulations, uh, Sarah. Our final finalist is um, Laura Brink. Laura, are you available to come and have a chat with us? Let's see if Laura hops on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, Laura. No, I can't hear you. No. There we go. You can hear me now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have issues with my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Laura? Congratulations. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's like a real honour to be here and um, something that I definitely did not expect this year because there were so many amazing entries this year. Like everyone really, really pushed the boundaries this year, I felt. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, this year was wild with entering <clears throat> the the creativity and the innovation that was coming in mm. so incredibly mind-blowing um yes. everyone did such a great job of creating and curating their images so um yeah thank you uh yeah. laura i'd really love to know what are some of your dreams for your business oh some of my dreams for my business <laughs> I would really love, um, so in the future, I'd really love to travel Australia with my family. So I would love to be able to set up um, more of a collaborative birth photography team where um, other photographers can um, shoot for sort of a collective birth photography business and I can edit those images and edit those videos whilst I'm travelling. Mm -hmm. So that would probably be one of my ultimate goals for my business in the future and the first, probably in the next hopefully two three years yeah mm. Mm. and I'd love that to be something that you know maybe multiple editors can be working together and multiple um, photographers can shoot the births so 
Mm. And from obviously internationally as well. Mm. Yeah, I love that idea. Um, the idea of working in a in a collective has always been mm. so appealing. Mm. <laughs> I have, yeah, and I have actually done it once bef- before, and I really loved the model. But I wasn't I wasn't the business owner at the time, so mm-hmm. um, and that is no longer a business. So yeah, mm. I'd love to sort of extend on that a bit more. Yeah, mm. amazing. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, We'll move on and I'll see, I think we've lost Paul for a moment. Um, I think his connection is just resetting. So we'll just take um, a couple of minutes. If you guys want to have a quick mingle with each other, um, I might just see if I can help Paul. So I will mute myself. If you guys want to chat for just a couple of minutes, um, We'll be back in a moment. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's Paul. Uh, blimey, Charlie, sorry about that. We had a we had a power out. So that that's what the network error was. That's okay. Uh, live streaming and technology and moons <laughs> and suns and retrogrades and Virgos, they're always <laughs> the cause of all of the problems. <laughs> Well, this one was the Cancerian, so it's fine. (laughs) My husband is a Virgo and I blame everything on him. So that's what we're here for. (laughs) I'm hungry. It's his fault. He should have fed me an hour ago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're very similar like that, Lacey. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Um, Paul, I wanted to hand it over to you. But before we do that, um, I just wanted to take a second and give just a gentle reminder that while photography is the priority in choosing our winners, we do take into account uh, a business review as well as two letters of recommendation that uh, is part of the finalist review panel. So each top five finalist is required to submit an overall review of their business, as well as two letters of recommendation. So one from a client and one from a colleague. So when we say birth photographer of the year, we mean it. This information helps assist our judges in selecting the best birth photographer of the year. It is important to us to not only have a winner who is uh, creating incredible work, but also is sustainable, ethical, and approachable um, within their community and in the wider World Wide Web as well. Um, And so this is where the letters of recommendation and the business review comes into play. And all of this is um, set before our panelist of five judges. And from that information, we select birth photographer of the year. So Paul, I'd love to hand that over to you to um, name oh. name it. Can I can I add to your comment though? Um, yeah. There's a lot of competitions out there, awards, you know, around photography, and um, I've been a part of a lot of it for uh, over the years. And I think this is one of the points that you just made that's missed. Th- these are you're, you're a prof- you're trying to put forward professionalism in 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 your world and and in your industry and you're part of the industry. And I think that's what we really have to focus on because otherwise, I mean, it's nice to take nice photographs and it's nice to enter awards and win awards, but we want your winner. We all want your winners to go forward so that when people choose those people to photograph for them, they're picking real businesses that really honor their commitment to their clients. And um, it's just it's just so imperative. So I think these awards that include this business aspect are important. And I've always had that in the back of my mind. You know, the Telstra Business Awards here in Australia, they they really talk about uh, you know how important it is as a business. They don't talk about exactly what they do and that. And that's too cold hard for for me. But the you know this what you guys do, um, it's so important that you be seen as professional. That you put yourselves forward that way. It's just. It's great. So congratulations on that. Congratulations on these winners that we're about to announce. 
for climbing through all of that, not only with the imagery, but with their professionalism. It's, it's so exciting to see. Yeah. So yeah. are we ready for this? We're ready. We're ready. Drum rolls. Um, okay, so we're going to go backwards, aren't we, Lacey, on this? This is our, we're going to do our third place winner. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. So yeah. it's my great honour to announce the third place or second runner-up. I think that's the other way we could call it, isn't it? Um, it's, it's Alicia Mason. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. That's very exciting stuff. Um, have we got um, Alicia? Is she around? Is she in the chat or anything like that? Yeah, Alicia is here. Congratulations, Alicia. It's just so lovely to um, uh, to have your work rise to the top like that. And you're in Sydney, huh? You're actually in Sydney, not one of those WA people pretending to be in Sydney. <laughs> That's lovely. Congratulations. All right. So our second place or our runner-up winner is Laura Brink. Congratulations, Laura. Yay. Yes. That's exciting. How wonderful. Second place. What a great position to be in. Mm -hmm. And finally, our birth photographer of the year for 2022 is Kayla Gray. Yay. Yay. And we know she's around. We do. Kayla, are you available? I know you said that you hated uh, interacting, but you're going to have to interact again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Part of the deal, Kayla. It is. Oh, I'm here. (laughs) What is going on in my hair? (laughs) All right. Can you hear me? We can. Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, that was, I'm shocked. I really am. Well, I'm I'm just going to show your images while while you um, just tell us what this means to you. What this means to me? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) On the spot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Wow. I I don't even know what to say, honestly. This is just, um, it's the great honor. Um, this has been just such an enlightening process. Um, I, I just feel like, wow, I really don't have words, Lacey. I just don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's oh. okay. Your, uh, images have <clears throat> presented such, uh, one of the comments from the top five panelists was that this is such a great representation of a, a, a well curated documentary um, portfolio, and they were absolutely in love with it. So that's amazing. Thank you. Because that's, you know, that's that's exactly what I want for my work. So mm-hmm. um, I, I'm like looking at these images all together now. I love how um, varied they are from like you know, the cesarean to the sibling reaction to the free birth. And Mm -hmm. to be honest, when I put these photos together for this competition, I really didn't make that connection. Mm -hmm. Um, I really only did it just now. And I I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, Yeah. That's one of the things that our judges is looking for is cohesion, yet maintaining diversity in those top five portfolios. So if you're here, take some notes for next year. Um, (laughs) And and you have absolutely presented the epitome of what it is that they were looking for. So congratulations and well done on all of your hard work through whatever the fuck COVID was for sustaining, persevering. Um, and I extend that those words to all of us here today. Um, the past yes. couple of years have been really weird. Um and we made it. We're here out on the other side. We did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. And huge congratulations to everybody that entered, um, everybody that placed in the top 20. Um, I know that all of us are walking away with so much more than we than we came to this for. And ask for the feedback next year. Always ask for the feedback. Yeah. <laughs> 
I should have asked for the feedback. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Um, our judges are there ready to, to chomping at the bits to talk about images. So um, it's what we yeah. love to do. So thanks so much, Kayla. Uh, congratulations so again. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Uh, congratulations to all of our photography entrants, our top 20, our bronze, silver, gold award winners. I said that backwards. Our, <laughs> let me start over. Congratulations to all of our entrants, all of our award winners, bronze, silver, and gold, all of our top 20 highest scoring portfolios, as well as top five um, and our finalists. So such an incredibly job, incredible job well done. Um, I also wanted to mention that our runners up for photography was Jacinta Lagos and Sarah Lentz. So congratulations as well for, um, for being a part of that. Um, okay. Thanks so much, Paul, for announcing our winners. Um, a pleasure, uh, a pleasure. Yes, I want to move on to video. Um, so let's find out who our birth videographer of the year is for 2022. So our finalists for our video is uh, Dania Lauren. <clears throat> Congratulations, Dania. Are you available? Is Dania here? <laughs> no, I don't see Dania here with us. Um, I understand that we're still running businesses, and so it can be hard to attend some of these things. But massive congratulations to uh, Dania for being one of the top five uh, finalists for Birth Videographer of the Year. Um, our next finalist is Jesse Snap. Is Jesse available? No, I don't see Jesse either. Oh, is she trying to come in? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, congratulations, Jesse, for being a part of the top five uh, finalist for birth photographer birth videographer of the year. Um, our next finalist is Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna Carlos. Rihanna, are you available? Did I see Rihanna? I do see Rihanna. Can you hear me? Hey, Rihanna. Yes. Hi. Dania, I'll come back you in a moment. Hey, Rihanna. Hi. Uh, congratulations on being in the top five. Thank How you. does that feel? <laughs> strange. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's a good strange, but yeah, unexpected strange. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Congratulations. Um, this is our first time we've ever done birth videographer of the year. And we're so excited to have been able to see your clients' um, births and have them share that. So thank you so, so much. Okay, um, we'll come here to Dania. Um, let's see if we can get Dania in. Hi, Dania. Hi, I can hear. Yay. Congratulations on being in the top five. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at my daughter's school at the moment. I've, um, I just stepped out. She's having the graduation. Uh, kids are having, they're giving their buddies a teddy bear for graduation. So. Oh, that's so sweet. My 18 year old had graduation, high school graduation last night. And so in between like speeches and stuff, I was madly trying to write things and do things for awards today. So I deeply resonate with the mom work-life integration <laughs> balance going on. Um, 
Dania, can you give us a little bit of insight, um, just quickly, 60 seconds or so, about video and what it means to you um, to be able to offer that to your clients? Oh, man, uh, 60 seconds. Okay, video is my first love. Uh, I, I started messing around with making films when I was probably could probably even go back till when I was about 10 years old and like cutting together on analog uh, video camera um, with my dad's like old, uh, I don't even know what it was, high eight or something camera. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, uh, and then I joined a documentary filmmaking team straight out of high school. So when I was about oh, 18 um, and yeah, ever since, um, have been looking for a way to get back into it. So it's, you know, it's been all about sort of testing the market in birth photography and sort of, uh, convincing people of the value of having films and just the audio and the visual connection. It's a real, it's a real visceral experience, I think. And so, yeah, that, I guess that 60 seconds of what it means to me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. It's really where visual communication and, and auditory um, communication really merge, isn't it? Where you get that extra enhancement of, of sensory input uh, that can provide us with so many different feelings and thoughts and, um, and provoke so many different things for us. So thanks so much, Dania. Um, well, thank you, Lacey. It's, yeah. uh, I'm glad I could make it on. <laughs> Yes, me too, me too. Um, all right, we'll move on um, to our next, uh, our next finalist. Um, let's see. Oh no, sorry, Diana. <laughs> sorry, Diana. I mistook Diana for, um, for Dania in the, in the chat. Okay, uh, we'll move on to our next finalist. Our next finalist is um, Jacinta Lagos. Congratulations, Jacinta. <laughs> I'd love to hear a word from you. Hi, Dan. Here I am again. Hi. It's pretty, pretty hectic here. I'm in Argentina actually visiting family and there's a lot of family around. So I'm sorry for the interruptions. I, um, yeah, I, that's, that's a, a Hispanic family for you. Everyone is always over and helping and loving <laughs> and feeding. <laughs> and feeding. Right. <laughs> um, no, that's okay. Thank you. Um, Congratulations on being in the top five for video. Thank you. Uh, I'd love Thank to you. Hear, I'd love to hear what video means to you. Oh my gosh, video is uh, my absolute passion. Um, I was this little girl here in Argentina at six, seven, eight years old, and going to the museum for a field trip with school, and I would carry my huge family camera, and I would record everything and. You know, I, I was always amazed how um, you can get a moving photo. Uh, that always blew me away. So that's why I was a videographer from the cradle. And yeah, it's my absolute passion. I can't say anything else. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, guys. <laughs> Congratulations, Jacinta, and um, what an incredible job. Well done. Um, our final finalist is Aaron Beth. Aaron, is Aaron available? I don't think I see Aaron on, but that's okay. Congratulations, Erin, on being in the top five finalist for Birth Videographer of the Year. Um, what a fantastic um, experience hosting video has been for you. Uh, the very first time was certainly an experience, um, I think, for all of us. <laughs> 
Um, the very first time we host something of this nature, particularly in the video realm, it is a tester to see how it works, what works, what doesn't work. And we found a lot of things uh, that did not work, <laughs> but we also found a lot of things that did work. And I must say the things that did work heavily outweighed the things that didn't. And so now that we have been able to process through um, our live judging and figured out the kinks, thank you to all of our entrants who gave us and me the grace to figure out how to live stream video in real time on the live stream um, and, and giving me grace and, um, and kindness when I wasn't able to deliver quickly and, and, and in an on-time fashion, um, that makes me be able to have the will to do it again uh, the following year. So just an incredible thanks to everyone who was present for our video judging. Um, and our finalists, Daniel Lauren, Jesse Snap, Rihanna Carlos, Jacinta Lagos, and Aaron Beth. Um, we are so incredibly proud of everyone who has submitted. So it is now time to end, to um, announce our birth videographer of the year. Um, Paul, oh, you, I don't actually, I'll have to do that because I don't think I have that on the sheet. <laughs> um, so our... Third place for birth videographer of the year. Actually, I'll do third and second place. And uh, Paul, you can do first place. Cool. Our third place birth videographer of the year is Jesse Snap. So congratulations to Jesse. Um, she has presented us an incredible portfolio of, uh, of birth stories. Um, and we're so grateful to have been able to see them. Our second place winner um, of Birth Videographer of the Year is Dania Lauren. So congratulations, Dania, on a job well done. Um, what, a, what an incredible achievement. Um, and Paul, I'll hand it over to you to um, announce our winner. And um, <laughs> I'm very honoured to announce the winner, Jacinta Lagos, and her baby for that fabulous video. <laughs> and look, I, I, I'm kicking myself. I haven't seen everyone else's, but I've seen Jacinta's. It's beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, um, Jacinta. I'll just take Thank a second you. and play your one of your videos there in please give me 48 hours to put up the award-winning galleries all of our videos are actually currently on the website you can go view them in their entirety um, however they those are organized by category give me a couple of days to organize our winning portfolios um, but for now let's take a look at um, one of Jacinta's award-winning videos Um, I won't make it into work with the leader today. Well, I, I might be in labor. Yes, they do. So. Coming out by first. This is really hard. Seriously, 
I can't fucking do this. I need something. Oh, that burns so bad. Oh, oh, no, I can't do this. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> Congratulations, Jacinta. Um, Thank you. Wow. Tell, tell us what... Oh, my goodness. What, a, what an amazing <laughs> set of videos. And, um, yeah, I'd just love to hear a few oh, words. <laughs> um, I mean, that thing uh, we just saw, I had it in my mind since I started three years ago because it's a great way to normalize birth. I, as I was saying earlier, I think that there's a lot of um, bias and myths and a lot of things going around the sounds of birth. And I think the, the best way to normalize birth and normalize the sounds of birth and, you know, say this, this is how it's supposed to happen. Um, is, is this and I think that we have a huge power to um, contribute to the world and um, you know I think we have the power to normalize birth and I think that's mind-blowing so yeah I, I gave birth to this baby and then that baby and I'm so proud of it and I'm super thankful that it's uh, being rewarded yes Thank you so much. Um, just a reminder that all of our um, our entrants have will have their portfolio as a whole uh, up on the website. So you'll be able to watch their multiple videos, just not their one that was shared here. So, um, so amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who has come and attended and joined us in celebrating um, each other's work and uh, vulnerability and ability to take risks um, and a chance on yourself. And so that is something to be commended as well. Paul, again, thank you so much for supporting us and being a sponsor um, year after year. We're so incredibly grateful to have you um, in in our community as well. So great pleasure. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And it's wonderful just to be a part of this fabulous little part of the industry that that is doing so much good to to raise awareness and normalize exactly what Hacinta said. It's mm -hmm. it's what needs to happen. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this concludes our uh, award ceremony for birth photographer and birth videographer of the year 2022. Congratulations to all of our entrants, top 20, top five finalists and winners. You guys um, are the real MVP of the awards process and I extend my utmost gratitude to each and every single one of you. Thank you. <laughs> so amazing okay thanks guys um i will be closing us all out so um please feel free to go and hang out uh on social media or in the facebook group and um i'll see you there so thank you bye